Okay, next up is race 20. It's the Wednesday Dow Bank listed three mile chase. And we've got 19 going to post here. And, uh, these are the runners. So number one is Acquitted. Two is Chief Orlando. Three is Disney's Nightmare. Four, Down in a Hole. Five, My Guardian Angel. Six, Run and Skips. Seven, Talk Leon. Eight, Veloth. Nine, Aerovision. Ten is Chisholm Bray. Eleven, Excellent Down. Twelve, Exo Flare. Thirteen is Gospels. Notoyo Bonsanto is 14. Peaches is 15. Silver King, 16. Stage Fright is 17. Eighteen is Tango Orange. And nineteen is Time to Kill which is a 6-4 to four favourite for Joshua Sutherland. And they're off here. In soft conditions at Ascot. The fences have been pretty cruel to the runners in the last few races. Let's see how many of them can stay on their feet over the next 20. So as we wait for them to settle down and get to the first fence, three of them rise together and they're all over it. And those three were Exo Flare, Chief Orlando and Veloth. But it's Exo Flair that's going to lead them the grey. And he leads by just a couple of lengths to Chief Orlando. And then we've got Veloth behind those in third. We come to the second. Everybody gets over it and they'll jump that quite well. Nobody down as yet. So it's still Exo Flair. And the rest of the pack are all... There's a few horses running wide. The widest of all is Tango Orange. He wants to be in the, the middle of the course where the ground may be a little bit firmer. Soft conditions here. And they already arrived at the fourth. And everybody's over it. The one that's getting a little bit detached at the back is down in a hole. It's slow over his jumps. But up front, it's Exo Flair and Chief Orlando together. And they're a couple of lengths ahead of the four. The Loth Talk Leon acquitted and run and skips. And they're a length through from stage night. And we've got Disney's Nightmare and the Black Silks out wide. Inside of that is Chisholm Bray. And then further inside is... I think that's time to kill Tango Orange as they take the fifth. And we've lost one there. Run and Skips has gone. So the sixth fence and all over that as well. But Run and Skips, I think that's a John Morgan horse. Bad luck. And they're in straight into the seventh, which is a ditch. Oh, we've lost another one there. In fact, two have gone. Veloth and Silver King. So Veloth, I'm, I'm sure, for our new trainer. Unlucky. So three already down. We're through seven. And it's Exo Flair and Chief Orlando that are still on their feet and lead as they go to the 8th together. They both jump it well. Everybody gets over the 8th, although Notoyo Bonsanto was pretty slow at the back. So it's Exo Flair and Chief Orlando. Got about a 5-6 length advantage over Talk Leon and Stage Fright. And they're being followed through now as we approach the grandstand. And we're going to be riding on board Exolet Down, another one of Doug Warren's. And we go to the 9th. There's a good jump there. Everybody's still standing. They all got over the ninth. And we're back to the race as we're going to approach the, the finishing post. I'm up in the stands here. This is where I watch it from with my binoculars as they approach the tenth. Let's see if they all get over it. The leaders have. And the remainder of the field with Excellent Down being the back marker at the moment. Lovely course, Ascot. So as they go past the finishing post... It's Exo Flair and Chief Orlando together. These two are happy to be pals up front. And they lead by a good five to six furlongs. And the remainder as we, they go away from us. So it's Exo Flair and Chief Orlando by five to six to stage fright. And there's Talkley on the great. And the outside of that is Time to Kill the Favourite. And the inside of that is Peaches. They're followed through by Gospels. Down in a hole and acquitted. And there's Chisholm Bray, Natoyo Bonsanto. Oh, we've lost. <laughs> He's gone. One of the leaders, Exo Flair, been there since the beginning. Bad luck there. Dove straight into that fence and he's he left Chief Orlando out on his own. But uh, Stage Fright is cutting that gap down a little bit. It's already just about a three to four lead. They approach the 12th. Everybody's over that. One at the back still is Exolet down. It's probably 15 lengths from first to last. And we've still got another seven fences to jump and just over a mile left to travel. They go into the ditch, the 13th. Again, not unlucky for anybody. And it's still Chief Orlando. Then followed through by Stage Fright. Time to kill. The Grey Talk Leon. Inside of that is Peaches. Over the 14th. Everybody gets over it. And we've got down in a hole. Tango Orange acquitted still there against the fence, having a quite a nice rise. 
and there's Aero Vision, Disney's Nightmare, Matoyo Bonsanto, My Guardian Angel in the Yellow Silks, and the outside of that is Chisholm Bray for Jim Murray, and still bringing up the rear is Excellent Down. Oh, we've, oh no, I thought we'd lost one then. My apologies. So, they take the 15th, and everybody's over it, although they've all got a little bit closer now. And straight into the 16th, everybody jumps that well as well. We've got five and a half furlongs left to run, and it's still Chief Orlando, although Gospels of Leon Rensburg, uh, Leon Van Rensburg is pulling alongside. Another one of his three-mile wonders, I imagine. So it's Gospels and Chief Orlando. But everybody's getting into this one, making up some good ground. It's Disney's Nightmare, and the Black Silks on the outside that wants to challenge for first place, and decides to take it up into the next. They're all over the 18th. So it's Disney's Nightmare, Time to Kill, Chief Orlando and Gospels. The one that doesn't have any room is Stage Fright at the moment, but gets a little gap now. But Time to Kill starts to plug for home, the favourite. Time to Kill from Chief Orlando in second. Gospels is third. Stage Fright is four. The one on the fence acquitted, trying to make up some ground. But it's Time to Kill that takes them into the 19th, the penultimate, and they're all over it. But Time to Kill's got a good couple of lengths lead here and pulling away. We've still got two furlongs left to run and two to jump. Well, one to jump is the last, but there's still two furlongs as I said, but it's time to kill that leads. Probably just got to skip over this. Fast finishing stage fright hanging on, acquitted, making up some ground. Can they make up the ground of a furlong? Here comes stage fright. But time to kill is under a full pressure here. I think time to kill the favourite's going to hang on to this. From a couple of lengths to stage fright and acquitted, fighting out for second and third. Chief Orlando hopefully hanging on to fourth. Been there since the beginning. But it's time to kill that's going to win this quite comfortably in the end. From acquitted in second, stage fright third. I think Chief Orlando was fourth. And there's a few in the rear there. My guardian angel coming in last. So number one is time to kill for Joshua Southern. Good win. Second is acquitted for Paul Rhodes. Third was stage fright for Graham Clutterbuck. Great run by Carl Grant is Chief Orlando in fourth. And Peaches for David Robinson was fifth.